everybody, this is Pam at the Paper Outpost. Welcome. I hope you're having an awesome day. Got envelopes? Anybody got envelopes? I thought it might be a fun day to play with how we can make different windowed envelopes. And I just thought of three different ways we could uh, make them. And let's see if it works. The whole concept behind this is to deconstruct the envelope first. So let's start with the small one. And I just... I, I actually buy these at my thrift store. They sell them in clumps, so I get a lot of variety. But if you have old greeting cards or note cards or thank you cards and, you know, those little envelopes, those little cutie envelopes are just sitting around, you grab a bunch and come on over to the craft table. Let's do this. All right, let me zoom in just a little. Okay. Um, so let's see if it works. Okay. Now, the whole thing is we're going to take it apart and we're going to glue it back together. So I'm gingerly using my, my thumb to softly tear in there. I am assuming some are going to come apart easier than others. Some may not come apart at all. We'll work with that if it happens. But right now, that's all I've done. Here's my original envelope shape. I just separated here and here. And now the whole thing opens up. So I thought probably the most, well, let's not, let's, yeah. Okay. So what I thought first was, all right, if we're going to cut it out, we might have to fold it in half. Well, the most laborious way, and we don't, we're not going to do this because it's laborious. Um, and this, why do I only have a giant ruler? Let me get my little baby ruler. Okay. Is you could come here and you could measure out a square with a pencil or something. We're not doing this. We're totally not doing this. Okay. Make a line, make a line, measure it from the top, top, that kind of thing. Make it all complicated. And you have this perfect square rectangle in here. And then you come along and laboriously... Um, Come with your craft knife and you slowly cut, slowly cut, slowly cut, slowly cut. Or you could do the other thing. Have you ever seen where they draw the square and then you cut an X and then you just cut here, 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 and here to remove it? But it's always kind of a little wonky around the corners. You know what I mean? Those corners are always a little weird. We're going to skip all that. We're not doing any of that. No. Okay. What we're going to do, we're going to fold it. I know we got it. we're going to have to deal with the fold, but I'm going to take the whole thing. This is the inside. I'm going to fold it. I hope this works. It works great in my mind. It does. And now we're going to basically, I'll, I'll show you the laborious way first. Okay. This is, um, I don't even want, I don't even want to use it. Let's just cut. All right. But maybe to do a straight line. Okay. Um, I'm just going to draw like where I think it, it should be. Okay. I don't even know how big this will come out, but we're just doing for example purposes. I'm not measuring. I'm just doing it. All right, so if I want to come down this line, now I am, I, I guess this is just getting rid of some of the work. This may not be perfect, all right, just hold your breath, but it's going to get the job done, so we're not stuck measuring for 100 years. If you're a measurer, you go forth and measure, that's right, um, and it's okay to be a measurer, it's not a bad thing, but some of us are not measurers. Okay, I can't see where it is, so I don't know where the corner is, the tricky part of all of this measuring stuff. But this is one method, which is a little faster. And there you go. So now when you fold up your little envelope, you have that. Well, what is that, Pam? That is a frame. And now you can do whatever you want with that frame. You can, where's that little anchor? Still haven't found the brown anchor. Nope, don't know where it is. I'll find it. You know why? Because I haven't cleaned up. That's, that's, that's truth to be told. That's, that's, uh, that's the pudding. Yep, it's whatever it is in the pudding. I think that's an expression. Something about a pudding. <laughs> okay. Um, now, I thought, wouldn't it be nice to put a little um, piece of plastic there, a piece of acetate? And do you think I could find a nice piece of packaging with a nice clear piece of acetate? The only thing I could find was this um, photo holder at the moment. I have, I have the plastic. It's everywhere. You think I can find it? No, I can't find it. Um, let me get my bigger scissors. Come here, bigger scissors. This might actually be a job for craft knife. I can see that. So I'm going to follow this line and I'm going to free the plastic. Just free in the plastic here. Um, oops, I couldn't even stay on the line there. Okay, there we go. As I'm excited, I think it's going to work. I think it's going to work. Okay. Don't get too excited, Pam. Or else you jinx it. All right, here we go. Almost done. It actually doesn't have to be perfect because the frame in the envelope is going to denote the perfection. We don't even need it that wide. Well, this is like a little hole. I don't. I only need enough that's just a little bigger than that hole. So let's go here. Yeah, can you see? Let me back you up a little bit. Just a little bit. All right, there. 
Okay. And let's do that. And now, magically, I think we have two of these. You should always retract that craft knife. Or else you're going to you're gonna get poked. <laughs> I don't want you to get poked. All right. Um, okay. So now we can put this here. You can glue it. You can use uh, double-sided tape. I just happen to have glue. You can use glue stick. I'm just going to use um, Fabrifix because I have it right here. It's going along here. Here. And then I'm going to glue it on the inside. Okay. And then we're just going to wait for that to dry. But now if I reconstruct, this is my envelope this way. If I reconstruct my envelope, I now have a windowed envelope. And I can put a picture or maybe, oh, that might look actually cute. Let me grab a photograph. Let me get something cute that would go right in there. Find the perfect photograph. Here's some old photos. Oops, come back here. Uh, it's a nice way to highlight something in here. What's this? Can anybody see what that is? Is that a cat or nothing? I can't see. I don't have my glasses on. Let's find a better one. Oh, here's some interesting writing. What's that? It's like, a, like one of those park signs or something? Probably not. I, like I said, I don't have my, my thingies in. But you can put this in there. And then that would be a nice way to accent something. You could put a little Victorian trade card in here or some old tickets or something like that which would show through the window. You could also make it a little shaker card and, and seal up the envelope. You could do that. Um, but we're not stopping there. No, 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 no. Okay, let's carry on. And put my pile of photos elsewhere. It doesn't have to be photos. That was just used as an example. Um, could be a flower picture. Could be anything. All right, so the next idea was, since I am not that great at measuring and I never know if something's going to come out straight, Okay, let's, let's take the, oh, we have pretty color inside here. Oh, look at that. I was, wasn't expecting that. All right, so we're going to do the same thing, but try to gingerly, gingerly, just lightly, just hoping, hoping it works, hoping. You could steam it too, but you know that, oh, that's, that's too many steps. All right, we're just going to like lightly, lightly do this. Oh, yeah, so the end result of this was I would come back and, and glue these back down here. So this would be an actual envelope again. Okay, so I would glue it under here and under here. Yep, okay. And um, now let's open this one up. So the whole trick is folding it in half. Now, once we have it in half, I'm going to pull in a big paper punch and see what we can do with that because I don't have to measure. Um, let's try this one. I've got this big mother. It's a scalloped edge circle of some sort. It says 3.5 inch scalloped edge circle. This thing takes up so much room. Oh my God, no, it's a lot bigger than I was thinking. <laughs> it just scared me. Ah, it's so big. No, I don't want you so big. You're too big. Go away. <laughs> I don't think I can do it. Let me try. Let's see what we get. How far does that, oh, that really goes to the edge. I don't think we should do that one. That's too big. Let's try this one. You're not as big, right? You can't be as big. No, you're too big too. Go away. Well, I'll find one. Here's one. You're not bad. This is a heart. Okay, so I'm gonna try heart. Now I'm not gonna get a heart, right? Because I'm gonna get I'm gonna get what looks more like a label or something, like a rounded. Well, let's just do it. Oh yeah, we got. It. Okay, we got that. That's right, we got that, and it's pretty symmetrical. Look at that, because we had that. Oh, that that would actually look nice right there. Would it like a little flying butterfly flying away? Um, so yeah, you can use your paper punches. Uh, just be mindful of how big it, that was a lot bigger than I thought it was too, um, how big they are, but this will also work and you can do stuff like that. And let me just get a little, oh, I think we're going to get some copper gilding paste or gilding wax. I love the smell of this stuff. Um, let me just grab a Q-tip. I think that might work well here. I really wanted a rounded one. No, is that, that, that round edge one is way over there. I'm not going way over there. So I'm just going to make this a round edge one. And just use a little bit of on the sides here. Let's go around the edges a little bit. Give it a little color. I love copper. And then I give up with that and I go with the finger. That's right. I, tr I tried to be good. I did. I did. You saw me trying to be good. You can use a finger caught, yes. It's just like a little finger covering. But uh, this is wax with a little bit of pigment. I'm not that scared of it. I'm sure it's highly toxic. Don't do this. But um, 
I, I do like working with my fingers. I can feel what I'm doing. Um, maybe you can do this with gloves too. Yes. All right. Okay. And you can make it as, as bordered or an unbordered as you want. Totally up to you. I think that's kind of pretty. You far away. Come closer. Come closer. Oh, yeah, well, that's so much better. <laughs> All right. So we have some of that going. That's very nice. And so we have this. Now you don't, you don't have to do the plastic thing. That was my next thing. So I did put the plastic thing in here. So if you want to have a plastic barrier and then put something here, you could actually glue this something right to here too. But if you didn't want to do that because it was a picture and you want to maintain its freedom, um, you can just tuck it in there. Okay. So now this one, I'm not going to put plastic in and I am going to reconstruct my envelope. Reconstructing, reconstructing. Very easy to do. Okay. So now, now I have my envelope organized again. Oh, look at me. I'm getting stuff all over the place. Okay. Clean this up a little bit with the leftover copper. Yeah, there we go. Oh, that looks kind of cool. Keep doing that. Oh, look at that. Oh, how'd that copper get over here? Who put that there? Was that you, Sally? <laughs> Bet it was. Okay. Yeah, that we're getting. Oh, okay. Let's go right on the back. I'm cleaning. I'm cleaning. I know. <laughs> But I like this copper stuff, so there we go. There we picked it all up. And now we're gonna put something cool inside of there. Let me find something cool, hold on. Okay, I found something cool. I found some very old, I think it's German music. And these are very old and caramelized, and I think it's so pretty. Um, these are very delicate and gentle. They're not gentle, they're just fragile. That's what I'm trying to say, they're fragile. So they're, they're gonna fracture, they're not heavy duty. You could mount this on um, a, a stronger piece to give it um, a little bit more strength, but this, I, it has both sides and I just, I don't want to lose the other side. That's the hard thing with ephemera. If you mount one side, you're going to lose the other side. So we're going to mount that. You're going to, you're going to lose one side if you glue it to something, but we're not going to glue it to anything. We're just going to be brave. Um, and let's see how much will actually fit in here. About to there. So in my non-measuring technique, I'm just going to fold, fold it up. Hopefully that broke at the right place. Very fragile, very old paper, but just a real treasure, you know, a real treasure. And uh, I'm going to put this in here for somebody else to find on another day. There you go. Oh, look, you're too tall and I measured wrong. Imagine that, how that happened. Okay, so we're going to come along and we're going to take another little chunk off. Okay, I don't know why that didn't work. <laughs> User error. Okay, there we go. Let's, oh, it's got names on both sides. I like these. I like this side better to show. That can't still be. No, it's, it's going to make it now. Okay. Now we have that. I know. Oh, I know. It was getting stuck on here. That's why. Aha. Uh -huh. Yeah, that's what it was. Okay. In you go. Now it's probably going to be too short. Is it? No, I think. Oh, we're okay. There we go. And we're in. We're in. We're in, everybody. There. So isn't that pretty? And then you can just go from there. You can start. Let's grab a, grab a cluster. We were talking about clusters recently, and I have them right here on my desk. So let me grab one because they're so pretty on here. Um, this is my box of, my drawer of clusters. Oh, that might be pretty. Oh, that's nice. Let's go for a little more color, maybe. Oh, you might be nice. That looks very nice, I think. And do we want, we could have two clusters. Here's a little piece. Oh, that's cute, too. Maybe we'll use both of you. All right. Well, they say something about threes, right? No. Maybe we'll put you on the back. Okay, that's what we'll do. All right, this little extra piece. See, little pieces like this. Don't lose them. No, no, no. Those are golden. Um, let me just glue this down. I'll put the glue on here. Put you down there. Put you right like that. There. No. There. Maybe there's good. Okay. We're just decorating you up a little bit. Having some fun with this guy. Mm-hmm. There we go. That's made out of a very old book, a piece of twine and a little piece of fabric. So it can be anything, the clusters, absolutely anything. And then on the back, since we do have an active pocket here, I think I might like to use this as a little decoration. It just seems to be fitting. It doesn't, it is it just fitting right there. And this is so delicate. I wouldn't even run it over a glue stick. I'm just going to put a bead of glue down here and lay this down and let it go to sleep. Okay, there we go. Oh, I overglued. That happens. But if you're quick, you can take the glue off with your fingers. Now, 
Crafting with me, you're going to end up with dirty fingers. It happens, but it's okay. <laughs> All right, there. All right. And I like that. I like that little overhang. And you don't have to have any overhang, but I do. I like it. And I think I'm feeling very bold and I'm going to grab some, you know, where's my stickles? Okay. They must be out somewhere. Look around your desk. Fam. There they are. Just grab any stickle. It doesn't matter. All right. I'm going to grab this one because I think I see some like purple mauve, mauve, mauve. How do you say it? Mauve or mauve? I grew up with mauve in Canada. But when I came down to America, I heard mauve. So anyway, I'm talking about that sort of shade of lavender purple. I'm just, can you see? I'm gonna go around and do the, what is this? What, what? Nouveau drops, nouveau crystal drops in raspberry pink. But looks, it looks like mauve, mauve to me. So mauve over <laughs> and get ready for some, I call this stickling, but um, there's a lot of different products that can do this. Liquid pearls, Nouveau drops, stickles. Um, uh, but it's basically the same cost concept. You're just going down, up, down, up, down, up. Whoop, can't see, can't see squat. That's great, Pam. Down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up. Gives you like little flat back pearl kind of look. Little metallic fluorescent flat back pearls with this, this particular color, which is... It's just kind of fun. Once you get started, you, you can't stop. You just have to keep going. And, and, and you're never done because you can always, there's always another spot to put some on. You know what I mean? It's like here and then down here. Little kitty corner there. Okay, you can't see anything. I'm backing up. I'm backing up. I hear you. I No, I heard you. I heard you from the back. Can't see. Got it. Got it. Okay, fixing. Going around here. Just following the shape of something. Yeah, I mean, no, no rocket science there. It's pretty easy. All right, so we've got some copper and some mauve, mauve, <laughs> um, from this design. And I could tuck more things in that pocket, but I don't need to. As long as that first piece is bigger than the pocket, it will hold everything back behind it. And um, like I said, if you wanted to mount this on something, you could. Or if you wanted to nestle this inside of a piece of a folded paper, almost like a little card inside, and put that inside to be a loose piece, you could do that as well. Okay, so that's that little idea. And then my last idea with these are I'm going to take maybe we'll have two more ideas this is one idea another idea let's say well that's great Pam but I don't have any punches I got I got nothing I'm sitting here with my thumbs and an envelope and that's really all I have so we're going to see if we can we can figure some out now this this envelope doesn't want to tear nicely if it doesn't tear nicely you know what we're going to do we're going to tear it anyway and if it tears through we're just going to cover it up because that's what we do yeah, we keep moving forward. So, okay, see, I have, a, I have a tear. I have a tear. So we are going to be covering it up in some way, shape, or form. No problem. I'm not going to let that stop us. We carry on. Okay, so, again, take this and fold it in half. I'll back you up a little bit so you can see the whole thing. And I'm just going to tear it this time. I know. I know. It's just that simple. It can be that simple. All right. Folding it. Now, I don't know what shape should I do. What shape should I do? Like a, uh, did a rectangle. We did a weird thing. Um, I'm going to try and do a diamond. I'm just going to, I'm going to try. It, it's like a, a loose diamond. It's not really a diamond. So I'm going to do a, a triangle, which in my great mathematical brain is coming out that it should look like a diamond when I'm done. All right, what do I got? That's what I got. Yeah, so you don't really need any fancy stuff. You just need your fingers. And you can tear a hole. And let me... Where is my oh, brown dauber? Where are you? Okay, I don't need you, brown dauber. I'm, I'm leaving you in the dust. I'm going to get my blue dauber. That's right. And I, I want something here just so that it shows up better on camera. You don't absolutely have to put something here. You can't even see it on camera. Um, but it's giving a little bit of distinction. Black would look nice as well, too. Let's just get in there with a little more color. So you can see what on earth I'm doing here. All right, there we go. Okay, so now we have our little frame. And, okay, so let's glue our envelope back together and see how we're going to cover that little foible. The little paper foible. Okay, that's how it's supposed to go. We just lay a little glue down, lay it a little glue down from whence it came, and then put Humpty Dumpty back together. But now it looks like Humpty Dumpty got into a fight with a chicken. A fight with a chicken. So we're going to cover that up. And this is where just about anything that you have on hand will come in handy. For example, you could put a little piece of material. Oh, I have this from the other day. That would be pretty. So you could just take random stuff you have lying around. Now you could, 
you could you could follow or you could make a new design okay you could do you can do that yeah let's try that's actually kind of pretty um i should have inked those before i i did this let me get the black dabber i think i can do this with it i'm not don't glue together yet come apart there yeah, this this shows up better okay it's kind of fun to accent the uh, edges of your envelope because it will give it um more of an antique look like it's been around the block you know what i mean this envelope has traveled gone places seen things told stories they've written they've written you know sonnets about this envelope yep <laughs> and uh so if you like that grungy sort of look you can just get in there with that ink the inker and have some fun it's okay you know, you, uh, all of our life, we were told to clean up, go wash your hands and do that stuff. Not anymore. Nope. We're drawing the line. We are the, the red hat, purple outfit people. We're doing what we want these days. We are having fun, taking names, not washing our hands. Well, we're going to wash our hands later, but we are getting dirty in the process and we are liking it. It's okay. Not unlike making pizza. You know what I mean? Have you ever, it's a messy process. Yeah, it is. And it's, and it's good and it's heralded, but you know, we're, we just have to make our own our own um, uh, support group for the dirty handed, the dirty handed crafter. There you go. There's another channel name. Go for it. Have fun. OK. <laughs> um, yeah, we have that. Maybe I'm going to go around here with black. I think that might give it like a mysterious waterlogged old ship log kind of look. And if I had a really cool piece of old ship ephemera, that would be awesome. But I have no idea where that would be at the moment. But uh, I think that would be cool. Oh, we're going we're gonna to fix the back, right? I see. I'm getting off track. Here we are. Those flowers have nothing to do with the ship, but we are going to go with it. Um, let's see. You're going to go into here and here. Okay. Oops. Yeah. All right. Okay. But I start at the bottom and I smear it up a bit and then down a bit. We should have enough glue. That was a big fat cheat, wasn't it? Yes, it was. Okay. Here we go. All right. And well, now we have that. Could have even turned that into a belly band. You know, it, it, we could have done that, but nope, didn't think about it till after. Um, but that could have been another place to tuck things, which would have been real cute. But it didn't happen this time. That, that's the way it goes sometimes. You have these great ideas right after you glue it down. You know what I mean? And I, I could have inked the edges of this, but I didn't think of it till now. So I guess I'm going to do it now. Maybe I'm actually going to make this whole bottom part dark. Yeah. Oh, maybe I'm going to make this whole thing dark. Yeah, up here. You can do that with your dauber. You can come in and... Just shade it in. Yeah, that's kind of cool. Look at that. Now we're kind of working like that. That's sort of fun. And now we have this. We want to find something fun to tuck in there. Okay, I grabbed a DigiKit picture and I'm going to see if it fits. It might be a little shy. We shall try. And you can actually glue this picture in to not move. So maybe it's not a removable. Maybe it's just a peekaboo. And then you could put exciting things behind it. Did I, I'm all glued down already. Okay. Um, so now this actual picture, let's see how close I can get. It's going to be a little bit white that shows, but what I'm going to do with that little extra is I think I might just color it in with some black. Let's see what happens there. Maybe a little bit of blue. Okay. Let's try that. Almost, almost got it covered. Okay, let me try that. There, no, no, whoop, no I went down too low. Um, I think I would like it to sit right there. So it's little bottom goes right where that point is. And then and the, that blending just sort of blends in. Let it blend it in a little bit. There we go. Yeah. Okay. There. That looks kind of cool, doesn't it? I think I'm going to anchor that. Um, that's actually cool the way that did that. Um, and, and all you really need to do is, so I have it at the right angle. Don't move it. We're just going to glue it around the top here. That's all you need to glue it in place. That's it. Just right there, down. Now that's there forever. Okay. And then we can tuck other fun things in there, which would be fun. Okay, get it in the right spot, Pam. 
Is that the right spot? That's very good, right? Well, that's kind of cool. I like that. Um, so let's grab maybe a black stickle. That might be kind of fun. Um, oh, I have one. What is this? Oh, it's a black Nouveau drop. Here I come. What color is this? Ebony black. Ebony black. Crystal Nouveau drops. Okay. All right, let's have some fun with this guy. I'm, I'm going to go around the world. I like that uh, design idea with these. They're pretty. And, and they look like rivets to me. Like somebody came along and riveted the design. Oh, maybe I'll go up north. See, I'm not fighting the... I can show you closer the um, fold that I put in. It's picking up a little bit extra of the ink. You see that? And I think um, I'm going to work with that. Yeah, I'm not going to fight that. No, we're going with that. Yeah, so that's 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 the best way to roll. And then everything is going smoothly because you're you're letting it almost create itself. Because a a little mistake or a bluebird or a foible or whatever you want to call it, it is um, a new launching pad for you. So next time it happens, and it will, because it always does. Um, say, okay, where can I take this now? Where's my next step? What do I see that I didn't see before now that this wonderful little bluebird landed in my lap? Um, I think I'm just going to go around the outside. I think this looks like a metal plate, and I think it's looking kind of cool, and that would be really neat in a medieval um, or a, a medieval journal or maybe a scientific um, experimental scientist style old world science journal that would be cool wouldn't it yeah okay here we go 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 and you can sing yourself a little song like oh they built the tic tac tanic to sail the ocean blue it's not a tick it's a ship um there and you're done before you know it and then that can dry and you can put more things on there of course um but i think that's kind of pretty the way it is it's just sort of oh look at that and um, so let's pull out again what we, we did here and we can see. Um, so unfortunately, Sonny is not here again. It's not that he's gone on multiple days. It's the same day and I'm still recording. So he's not back yet. Um, but uh, yes, he will be picked up moment, uh, shortly. Not quite yet, but uh, he's having a good time. Oh, I got, I got photo. Can I show you? No, I can't show you the photos. I got photos of him in the playground with the other pups and he's having an awesome time. And mommy's feeling much better about that because... Mommy was worried. <laughs> so be honest, Mommy was worried. Is he going to hold his own over there? He's in the little dog section, can we say? Yeah, I think you need a, you need a little black dog right there. And this is where you come along and you say, okay, what else do I need? I can just do whatever I want at this point. Maybe I'll put three dots here. Black gives nice accenting. Yeah, I just one there because I have one there. Nobody knows I have one there. I'll put two there. I'm going to put three. Okay. Oh, maybe I'll put some here. It helps things pop or anchor it a little bit more. Um, you can come in the middle and put little black dots. Oh, yeah, I'm getting polywog tails. Probably because this is older stuff. It tends to get a little thicker and drier over time, but not, you know, it's not bad. I mean, and if you find you're doing the polywog tails, lift it up higher. Don't drag across. Lift up, 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 down, up, down, up, down, up, down. They get fewer polywog tails. Did I over? Did I overdo it? I never know until I'm done because I'm trying to keep my eye right where I am. Okay, almost done. Oh, that one went off. Sometimes it happens. One, there's a wayward one, but it's part of the handmade charm, you know. You can cover the whole thing with dots. It's totally fine. Yeah. And um, I need some here. It's funny how I, you know, you think you, you oh need more there. Yep. There we go. Okay. Now we're complete. <laughs> now I can sleep at night. All right, where is the other one that we made? Oh, right here, yes. So this is Mr. Plastic Window, and I never did technically... I did, what is the tick tick? I, I never did technically make my... rebuild my envelope, so let me do that. Oh, I'm trying not to stick it. Step in the stickles. Don't step in the stickles, ma'am. Down. A down. Okay. You have that. And then, like, the, for example, the um, doo -doo -doo -doo. picture can go in here loosely, or you can tack it down. But if they're old vintage photos, you can, you can keep them loose so people can pull them out. Or you can totally pull the picture out and make a shaker. So this is the, also an easy way to make shakers. If you want to do that, here's just some 
Let me move this. Is everybody's heart like on edge? Mine is. Okay, move that, move that. Those Nouveau drops dry pretty fast though, thankfully. Stickles, which is glitter glue, takes a little longer. I'll take a pile of these, stick them in here. I have no idea if that's too much or not enough. We'll find out. How's that? Oh, you're making a shaker. Oh, they came out. See, now the smart thing would be to glue them together, but I just wanted to make sure I had the right amount in there, which is, I don't know how you know that, but you just sort of give it a shake and if things move, you're good. And uh, let's go ahead and glue this together. Okay. I haven't done any serious inking here, anything. May oh, okay, so now I did pink, but maybe because of these have fall, winter-like colors, I would like my green dauber, please surface. Yes, we have surfaced. We are now here. I even have my green ink, which I think might go nice with the jewel tones of fall. And I guess we're, oh, what are we leaking? We're leaking leaves. Get back in there and do your job. What, what are you, a feather? No, you can't be in there. You're like a fluff. All right, back down. Seal. Seal. Be sealed. Okay, I think we're good now. There will be no escaping leaves now. Um, it, all the jewel tones of fall, I think, look, they marry well together. Yes, 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 yes. Now, this looks like the green grass of summer, but that's okay. You know, it's all good. If I had my brown, I could knock it down a little bit. Do I have my brown? No, I still don't have my brown because I have not cleaned up. Where are you? Where are you? You're probably over in the other table, which I don't want to show anybody right now. <laughs> it's a big mess. Um, okay, so we have that. And then let's go a little closer, just a little closer. I've got a little glare going on there. That's a little too close, sorry. Uh, readjust. Hang on, just give me a second. I got my fingers to work. Okay. And um, here, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to make lines. Where there are none, I'm going to make a picture frame. Okay. Make it a picture frame. Whatever's on the uh, side of the dauber. These are sponge daubers, if anybody was wondering. Somebody asked me if they're sponge or felt. These are sponge. Um, and the edge there. That's kind of pretty. What? You want more? Okay. We'll get the um, this old friend. Where are you, old friend? Come back. I know you're in here. You, I, I always gracefully put you back here. Here you are. My aquarelle. Stabilo pencil. Oh, stop turning. Aquarelle Stabilo pencil in number 8046. I have no idea what this is going to do, but we're going to go around the outside. Okay, and this is a water, water soluble graphite pencil, which gives you great smudge factor and it helps you emphasize focal points. Mm -hmm. So we're going to do some super emphasizing here. Okay, so now. She said with the greatest confidence, oh gosh, I had a Q-tip. Oh, right now. Don't stick that in that. Go over there. The Q-tip is, ah, right under the other thing. Okay, here. And then you take some water, preferably from a squirt bottle. <laughs> have to be a hygienic here and all, you know. All right, so, and just dampen and then put the, wipe this on your pants. Um, and you get that. Oh, that's nice, isn't it? Look how nice that is. Yeah, and you can do it as much or as little as you want. You can go around, you can put more on. I should show you what that looks like. Excuse me. We've done it once. Look, look at the intensity of that. That's beautiful. Yeah. And now let's say maybe you wanted a little more. It's not intense enough. You can come on, lay down a little more. Yeah, you can. You can make this as uh, intense as you want. You're just laying down pigments. It feels like charcoal. That's what it feels like. I wonder if it is charcoal. A little more water. Just takes a little. Not much. A couple drops. Q-tip, and then it just balloons. And you don't have to go just back and forth. You can you can rub it and spread it and stuff like that. But uh, yeah, you get kind of a nice um, framing, and you can you can you can also go down these uh, picture frame edges. Am I on the screen? Stay in the screen, Pam. Um, back up just a little. Oh, there goes a neighbor. Where's Ronnie? I don't see the dog. That's okay. <laughs> I think he's still all right. All right, there we go. And then we'll just take this. This is still wet, so I can just come and smudge. Smudge. If you have never gotten yourself one of these uh, Aquarelle Stabilo pencils, I think they come in packs of three if you buy them online. Um, they're fun. I mean, they're really fun. Lori Marie. Lori Marie. Oh, I don't want to say her name wrong. Lori Marie Jenkins? Lori Marie 
You know who I'm talking about. If you know who I'm talking about, put her name down below because she changed my world with the Aquarelle Stabilo pencil. That's right. Um, so thank you, Lori, for that. <laughs> and you, you, know, you, know, you can do stuff like this. Look at, look at you go. I mean, there's no end to your creative ideas. You just keep going until you are done. And um, sometimes you don't need 101 supplies. You just need to have a perspective on how to use them a little differently. And then you've got tons of things to play with. Because there's always tons of things to play with. You're only limited by your imagination. I don't know where I could end it better than on that one. Um, okay, so we made a shaker card. Because that's always fun. We made a very pretty unplasticized window envelope. Um, and then we made a very pretty uh, window envelope that is sealed that doesn't come out but you could put extra goodies in here if you want let me back up so you can see everything okay there we have all of our goodies so i hope you had fun today don't forget to um put a comment down below of whatever you like and you will be automatically entered into next week's contest right now during november 25 percent off my merchandise shop which is my t-shirts sweatshirts zip hoodies and um, mugs, totes, and water bottles. If you like the phrase, create with reckless abandon, or everything is a craft supply until proven otherwise, you can get that on any of those items for yourself or a loved one, at, all through November 2022. <clears throat> and, da 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 da, um, if you have not signed up for my free monthly email newsletter, make sure you do so, because you get a free digital image, a, a email to you every month, a checklist of supplies, a note from the bookmaker, which explains what a junk journal is and how to use it. You can change it, make it your own, or print it out as is. Um, you're going to get um, junk journal tips, updates from me, peeks at my digi kits, and a whole other plethora of things um, that come with the uh, free monthly email newsletter. And um, generally, when you sign up for it, you'll get it the next day, if it's your first time. And then after that, on or about the first of every month, you'll get the next monthly newsletter. And I also have, my videos come out Mondays, Wednesdays, Fridays, and Saturdays, 7 a.m. Eastern Time. My podcasts come out Tuesdays and Thursdays. Uh, audio material, I talk about uh, junk journal making, paper crafting, life of a crafter, answering your crafty questions, and um, you can listen to it on um new audio material on Tuesdays, Thursdays, but if you like to watch video podcasts, I have those uh, on Spotify every other day of the week, or you can listen to the audio from the video podcasts on um, any of your po podcast platforms. I also have an Etsy shop. If you like uh, printables, I have about 180 to pick from. They're all themed, birds, Victorian, dragonfly, butterfly, you name it, there's over 180 to pick from. There's five pages in each, and they're really fun and um, easy to use in junk journals to use for pockets or tucks or focal points, whatever you like. And uh, I have a print and mail service. If you <clears throat> like the idea of that, but you don't have a printer or don't like to print, I will do that for you for a flat fee, flat fee which includes shipping, free priority shipping, but um, all I need from you are your 10 DigiKit names and... Um, uh, so that's 50 printed pages that you're going to get on lightweight cardstock. You send me your list of 10 DigiKit names to uh, the Etsy message or to Pam at thepaperoutpost.com, my email address, and I will, uh, and then just purchase the print and mail. You don't need to pr purchase each individual DigiKit, just purchase the print and mail option once and then send me the list of 10 names and you are good to go. And um, uh, I sell fundals, which are collections of old and interesting papers. So if you like, uh, or you've never held, or you've never seen interesting papers like this, and you'd like to have a few for your own collection, how about a hundred plus of interesting things? So it'll be old and also interesting papers. Fun things to make junk journals out of. Um, I have an Amazon shop if you're looking for favorite tools and supplies. I try to put the links to things in there that I find. And also I have a podcast. I, I told you about that already. And I, <laughs> you can also find me on Pinterest, Twitter, LinkedIn, Facebook, Instagram. Uh, Facebook group. Come and join our Facebook group. We're having a lot of fun over there doing weekly and monthly challenges. And remember that fun can be simple. And create with reckless abandon, everybody. Go have some fun. Take care. Bye-bye.